Um, today, let's look at the lead code problem number um, 658. Find k closest elements. Uh, you're given a sorted array, two integers k and x. Um, we need to find the k closest elements to x in the array. The results should be sorted in ascending order. If there is a tie, the smaller elements are always preferred. Uh, let's look at this example. You have the array uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the k is 4, and the x is 3. That means we need to uh, select 4 elements, and they are most closest to uh, element 3. So the output is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. That's uh, very obvious, right? Because we just uh, look for the x in this array, and it's, it just happened this x is in the array, and centered with this x, we're going to just select the elements, you know, uh, left and right, left and right, based on the distance uh, between uh, the elements and our uh, center, which is the x elements, um, until we uh, select the uh, enough four. So we just finish this uh, task. So let's look at the example two. We have the array one, two, three, four, five. And the k is 4. We need to select 4 elements. The x is uh, negative 1. And this is the typical case uh, that uh, the x actually is not in array. So we just, uh, you know, imagine the x is on the very left side of this array. And we need to uh, select all the elements closest to the x. So what do we do? We just uh, start with the uh, left and most one. And we choose 1, 2, 3, 4 until we select enough four elements. So this is our today's algorithm. Um, so how to do that? Look at the uh, lead code. The difficult level is medium. Uh, though it is uh, medium, it's not actually very hard to figure it out. And the code actually is very, very simple. It's more about how you think about this uh, problem. I put some analytics uh, notes here. Uh, you can read it out. Um, how we think, how we uh, resolve this issue. First, we need to know that it is all about the uh, array. And as what we were, uh, what we were told, this is totally a uh, sorted array. So that is very helpful information. So you need, you need to uh, grab the key signals. So the one signal is that the array is sorted. All right. So second is that uh, we need to select the key elements. Um, you know which is closest to uh, 3. So we can just imagine that if the elements x is in the array, so definitely we're going to just center with that element and select the elements, you know, starts from that center. So, um, but if we just uh, do the selection, it's kind of a little bit uh, not that uh, strict and easy because uh, we have to consider a lot of uh, boundary uh, things, conditions. So uh, here I, I, I want to uh, mention a uh, thinking uh, mindset or a strategy, uh, which is called reverse thinking. So every time when you face a algorithm problem, uh, you can just check you know, your thinking uh, strategies. So reverse thinking is definitely one of them. So things, it's hard for us to resolve this issue just you know, from the uh, uh, front. Uh, aspect, and then we can just uh, think, uh, okay, cool, what is the reverse uh, equals problem si site, uh, problem size of this uh, uh, similar one? Um, we should know that select k elements in this array, it equals to remove the size minus k element. Um, so the, the size actually is the uh, length of the whole array. So they are the similar, they are the, the same actually. So we should just uh, try to think that, is that easy for us to uh, remove the elements? The answer is yes. Because the array is already sorted, you have to uh, very uh, be very aware of that. So if we need to remove the elements, what we are gonna do? We actually just remove the elements from the end, right? Definitely from the end. Because we can think that uh, if the x is on uh, is in the center, if you want to remove some elements from the uh, this array, it's got to be you know started from the left end or right end. 
if the element is not in the center, it's just the you know left and most, or even not in this array, just the left and most, then where do you uh, remove the element? You're gonna remove the element starts from the rightmost. And same thing, uh, the similar. If the x is on the rightmost of this array, you're gonna start it, uh, uh, removing the elements from the uh, left leftmost. So that's our strategy. It's pretty simple, right? So what do we have to do? We just uh, compare our uh, our you know two end elements, and we compare them uh, with the uh, given x. We calculate the distances. We 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 try try to uh, find which one is like closer. Uh, we just remove. We always remove that one. You know has a larger uh, distance uh, between the elements with the given x. So that's our strategy. Okay, so let's jump into this code. You can see that the code is really, really short. Array is the uh, given uh, array. And k means uh, you know, how many elements that we have to select. And x is the given element. Uh, it's like a pivot. We, we're going to select or remove elements based on this given x. So first thing first, we're going to have to check the uh, parameters. Uh, if uh, the array is empty or none, or the k less than uh, zero. So definitely, we cannot just uh, select any elements. We just uh, return a empty array. Then we try to get the size of this array. We just uh, use the size variable. Then we're going to just uh, use a while loop. Uh, we just check if the current array size greater than k, because eventually we have to keep like k elements in the array. So as long as the size is still greater than k, we're gonna just uh, try to remove them. We try to remove, you know, from one of the ends, left or right. Here is what we're gonna do. Uh, first, we just get the leftmost element, and we calculate the distance between uh, this element and uh, the uh, x. And same thing here, we calculate the elements x uh, with the uh, uh, rightmost elements to say, you know. The distance, which one is larger? If right element is larger, the distance you know between that element and the uh, given x is larger. We're gonna just remove the leftmost one. Uh, else, we're gonna just remove the rightmost one. So this is our algorithm. Uh, but still, one thing we need to pay attention to is that if there is a tie. That means you know the two ends, left and most and right most, they are the same element. So uh, according to this uh, uh, problem description, it says that smaller elements are always preferred. That means we have to choose the left and most one instead of choosing the right rightmost one. So here actually this situation is already uh, covered by this uh, if else block because we always just to check uh, left and most. If left and most is greater than right and most, uh, the distance between that and x. Only in this condition, we're going to just remove the uh, left and most. So if left and most, you know, equals to uh, right and most, I mean the distance between them and x, we actually is going to just remove the right most. Yeah. So this is the very detailed level. So I just want you to uh, notice that. But still, uh, in the overall algorithm level, it's very concise and uh, very clear. So if you can just write out this code to your interviewer, it's gonna be super awesome. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the full uh, algorithm. Let's just run this. Uh, first, I run this code. I realized that yeah, we passed the given test cases. So let's try to uh, submit this application. All right, it's awesome. It uh, it just uh, got accepted, and all the test cases passed. Um, yeah, that's great. Actually, as to this problem, we also have some other uh, ways to resolve this, like a binary search. But all those uh, solutions is a little bit uh, complicated, and it's not that uh, you know uh, concise than this one. Um, maybe in next t tutorials, we're gonna just cover all those. Uh, uh, Optional uh, solutions to give you a uh, more perspectives and angles to understand this algorithm. All right, uh, that's today's algorithm. 
Remember, this is a medium, but we we use a very very subtle and optimize the solution without this one. So, good job, everybody. All right. Uh, thank you so much. If you like this video, then please subscribe. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye bye.